Hello everybody and welcome to Sunday Morning Craft and Chat. And we're just going to kind of hang out a little bit. And I've got my coffee. I'm ready to go, I think. So I thought I would work on today, and I don't know what you guys want to work on, but I have this 8x8 eight eight, um, shadow box frame in my craft room. And I like to change out the... Um, the pictures that I create inside of it, the art I create inside of it. I have a few of these around my house. I like them because I can change out my artwork anytime I want. And I'm not stuck with just one theme or one season. So I create my own little shadow box artwork and slide them inside. So this is the current one right now. And this uh, shadow box I purchased at Hobby Lobby years ago and it's nice because you can either hang it on the wall or it actually has a picture frame stand on the back and i thought i would do a fall one but then when i started going through my stuff i already have two fall ones that i really already like so i thought okay we'll do a halloween one for that then because i've already got two fall ones here's a couple of christmas ones that i've done but just keep them just kind of simple and nice. So I think this is my favorite of the falls with the fox and stuff. I just love fox. But yep, so let me close up of that. So yeah, so I thought we'd do a, a Halloween one. So the paper pack, the paper I'm using um, is from this K and Company pack. And it's from 2012. So it's an older one. I remember when I bought it, I bought a couple packs of it. So, yeah, it's got a good variety. Oh, those are upside down. But it's got a good variety of papers in it. And I was debating between this green here and this, this one here. But I think I'm going to go with the green. I don't know. I kind of held my pieces up. And, and I'm not going to go do anything elaborate. I'm just going to keep it simple. So I'm going to go ahead and get my trimmer, and we will trim this down to 8 by 8 All right, I'll use my big trimmer over here. I can't move that over there, but I'm just going to trim this on my trimmer to 8 by 8 And let's see. Let me know what you guys have been up to this week. If you've done any crafting, or if you plan on doing any crafting this weekend. Um... Or I should say, this coming week, right? And uh, what you got plans? I know um, this coming week, Miss Brooklyn has her um, open house for school for kindergarten. So we'll be going to that Thursday night. And there's not a whole lot else going on. I wanted to take them maybe this week to Grand Haven before they get back in school and maybe get a Prano pup or something and maybe walk to the beach or whatever. But I'm just going to smudge this with some uh, Distress Ink, Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Ink Walnut Stain. I'm just going to kind of distress this. Oh, and I will show you the dyes I'm using here. So I got... I cut them all out, but I'm going to use these here. And this is Tim Holtz, then it's Sizzix Dye 665560, and it's called Ghost Town Number 2. These are all from last year. And also pieces from 665561, and that is Toil and Trouble, and that is also from last year. And some pieces, I think, from 665563, and that is Valley Series, so it's Halloween 2021 Vault Series. I'm sorry, Vault Series. Look at it right. Um, they take things from uh, past ones. This is kind of a new thing that they started last year where they take things from past dyes and stuff that they had, and they create them in a different size. And they just kind of intermix them. So we're going to use some pieces from that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and smudge this. 
So yeah, so I think our week is going to be kind of quiet because then on that next Monday, then the kids go back to school. And um, then, of course, they'll be in school for a couple days and they'll have their their break for um, Labor Day. So, yep, so we'll see. She's getting excited. We went, um, her and I went school clothes shopping uh, this week, this past week, and got her some cute clothes for school. She likes to wear dresses and skirts, so I got her a couple of skirt dresses and a couple of other dresses. And of course some pants and lots of shirts and another new pair of tennis shoes. She got a pair, new pair of tennis shoes last week because my um, German Shepherd pulled her other brand new shoes that her mom had just bought her. Pulled them off of a table that was up quite high and, and decided to chew on them. So bad that she can't even use them for play shoes. So... Yeah, so I wasn't too happy, so me, Ma, and Papa had to go buy a new pair of shoes for the girl. And then I just bought her another pair when we got the school clothes um, done. So now she has two new pairs of tennis shoes. So, all right, so we smudged this, we smudged our little, and this little cauldron here, I didn't even notice it on the die, but when I was um, cleaning out the punches, there's a skull in there. I thought that was so cute. I didn't even know that. Let me grab some pop dots out here. And uh, so if we want to pop some things up, we can. Oh, let's see. Let me get some loads. That looks good. Yeah, so that was kind of finished up last week or this past week. And uh, yeah, of course, some. Um, A day ahead or two days ahead actually because I will be gone with Loey up north to her cabin so I had to do this a little early but that's okay I'll be with you on Sunday morning anyway <laughs> maybe I'll just watch it with you watch it with Loey <laughs> as I'm having my coffee but yeah she had invited me up to their cabin and uh, I am ready for a little break. So I said, yes, please. <laughs> so we're just going to spend the weekend crafting and relaxing, keeping everything simple. Oops, let's do this down first. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Very much so. Put that there like that, I think. I haven't really decided where I wanted to put these things. I knew I kind of wanted the cemetery in the middle there. There we go. And I want that door open because I thought that's kind of cool. And yeah, put one on that side. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And there is not a whole lot else going on. Still waiting for my chicken coop to be finished. They got it all screened in now. Or not, yeah, I guess it wouldn't be a screen. They got it all enclosed. So it's getting closer. They just want to cut in the um, egg boxes and and uh, they will hopefully do that within the next couple of days, maybe. I'm not sure. I am not sure. And I probably won't be here to find out. So I know my husband has some other responsibilities he has to take care of. So I don't know if he'll get to it or not. I'm not. All right. And these are a couple of the ghosts from from this set here. So yeah, I'm just going to mix and mingle them all and I'll come up with 
some okay and i might do another one shadow box i i will definitely do a bigger one i i do a lot of, i only have the one eight by eight but i have several 12 by 12s several 12 by 12 shadow boxes that i there we go I'm just popping them up on the top, pop dots to give them some. So that one's got two. Give them some, give this thing some dimension and stuff. So this one I'm actually going to tuck under here, but I'm also got it on a pop dot. Like flying out. Oh, kind of cool. Let's see. Like that. But yeah. So what have you guys um, been doing this week? Anything interesting? I think maybe in a couple weeks I'll try to figure out maybe how to have Loey on and we can chat together while I when we have our Sunday chat and craft and chat. And uh, I think that would be fun. She probably would enjoy that. And I don't, be, I don't think I'll be able to put her up on the screen or anything, but you can you'll probably be able to hear. Maybe I'll have her on my phone or something, and we'll do that. Now, the broom, I cut out in two things. I cut it in a brown, kind of a little brown, and then I also cut out um, the broom, the whiskey part, in kind of a yellow, and we will smudge that to make it look more like broom color so it's not so bright maybe add some black lines here oops this is just my just a regular ink pen here i'm just going to add some lines in there so yeah so i don't know i just kind of looking forward to her going to school and I was thinking about taking like going to this there's this dance school not um, not too far away from me and they do all kinds of dance classes my husband's not a big dancer but I love to dance and um, so I thought about going and doing that and they have a, I guess they'd call it a club or something too that um, they have on Friday night so you can pay to do like the dance lessons and also be at the club and enjoy dancing at the little club there. So um, I thought about maybe trying something like that and try it out. It sounds like fun. So I don't know. I have a It's um, Brooklyn's little friend that we met at the park, little boy, and last year, and we have play dates with him, and I was talking to his mom about it, and she seemed interested in maybe going, because I don't want to go by myself, really, you know. I know people do, but I'd rather, at least for the first time or so, go with, with some others, but, so I don't know, something I'm looking into and it just sounded like fun to me so and we have two witches here we got both of the witches so I'm gonna put um, her on there like so I think yeah I think that needs I think this needs to be darker I think it's still too still too white or too yellow there we go So yeah, that was something I was thought about doing. And uh, so thin, hang on. I'm just gonna. There we go. Try to get it. There we go. It's very thin. So just like that. I like the Tim Holtz dies. I like his his things. I don't know if it's going to show up much, but I'm going to give that a little smudge. Let me grab my 
I always save these like the backs of card stock or when you get stuff in it, that cardboard and then I use that for like smudging things so I don't get it all over my table. I have to smudge large areas. All right, so maybe have her. We'll just set her right there for right now. Oh, I wanted to put this cat on her broom too. I thought that was funny. So I thought I might be able to get him to stand. Yeah. Maybe get him to stand on the back of the broom there. Let's see. And I don't usually have my Halloween stuff out for because I do the fall too. So I put my fall out and then I put a little bit of Halloween out and then I put my fall back in because you got Thanksgiving. So, so it kind of goes back and forth, but that's all right. All right. So this is going to just be kind of a, just a short morning, I guess. Love coffee of my coffee. My other witch is supposed to be holding a little tiny mouse. It's a little tiny mouse. So we'll get that in there. We will get that in there. Let's see here. Again, it's just going to be just a tiny amount of glue. Yeah. Oops, come on. Might be better off just, uh, looks like he's still got part of his, you know, his eye there. There we go. So I think we'll put her down first. Give her some pop dots. Let's do squares. Yeah, I got, um, I'm also doing the gingerbread series, if you're familiar with that. So I got all of those almost in the system. So hopefully get those done maybe this coming week. And then I can start my other fall stuff and this. If I want it, I'll get them all done in the system and then they'll come out on the first of of each month. Maybe I have her putting that in there. Make sure you go and drop that little mouse in there. Whoops. Got glue there. Drop the mouse in there. This is a loop. There we go. All right. There we go. I guess. It's a little crooked to me. So. All right. So we got her dropping the mouse in. And then I think. Find the one to fly in here. She should be drying up now. And have her flying over. I got glass on the front, so I can't go too high. Okay, so I'm going to add some, maybe three. Let's see here. See what we can get in here. And we'll try for three high. Let's see. 
dogs they have the littlest one has a small bed in the bedroom and then there's a big bed out in the living room for the shepherd or they both lay on it so but the little one my daughter had bought when um, I was watching her little um, dash hound and and uh, so it just she just left it here because it was funny because they all would lay in it all at the same time so it was hilarious so they have proceeded to start to tear all the stuffing out of that bed <laughs> it's like it's like stop it they make a mess all over so yeah they just were up to no good again so you know what? i think i'm going to move this ghost here Sorry second oh, that is the little mischievous herself she just wanted out of the they were just in there tearing it apart so she just wanted back out they don't like getting into trouble they like getting into trouble they don't like getting in trouble for it though <laughs> oh i'm gonna have to have that just a little bit lower to allow for we'll get her i'll get her to allow for that frame corner there we go all right Oopsie. miss bella you know you're not allowed in here here's the troublemaker here she is right here little troublemaker huh yes miss bella the troublemaker yes you can't be in here because you get in trouble you will on now what what no, no, go ahead. There you go. Maybe she has to go potty. No. Pause. Yeah, it's a good thing that I listened to her because she had to go potty. All right. She doesn't make any noise when she has to go potty. She just, um, just recently actually started coming to to get me which is nice because otherwise she puddles on the floor i was thinking maybe having this ghost come out of this pot like he doesn't want to be by that mouse <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um, so um yeah so she's getting better now it's taken a while like I, from what I gathered, um, they're harder to train. I don't know. I've house broke a lot of dogs. And I don't know if it's because I have two of them at the same time that it seems a lot harder. Or if it's just them. <laughs> I'm not sure. But the people we bought um, her from, did them. they are a reputable breeder. And, um they said that they can be stubborn you know so to expect that so they were right she doesn't know a lot of tricks she we did teach her how to sit she comes most of the time when she wants to um <laughs> when she wants to i kind of thought that might look nice up there I'm going to be down the bottom. Um, yeah, well, she's a pretty good dog. She adores my husband. And uh, so she will, if he leaves, like even his shirt or something around, she will grab it and choose the buttons off of his work shirts if they get left sitting where she can reach them. I'm not oh, yeah. sure. I <laughs> so I have to make sure everything is out of their reach because it seems like if it's not, they get into it. 
and destroy it. I like to chew on his shoelaces and his work shoes. Just being puppies, but I tell you, it can get frustrating for sure. Do we want to moon in there? Maybe up in that spot. But other than that, I mean, they're just puppies, so you you got to expect a little, a little um, frustrations. So taking on two, I probably, I don't know. I guess it depends on the, what's well, not like it's the only thing I have going on in my life, you know, it's just the puppies. <laughs> so that's probably part of it. But there's other things always going on. Do you want that up there? I had this was from a dye exchange. I don't know if I can just tape it inside there. Mm -hmm. But maybe making. Let me see here. I don't know if this will work. Let me see. Wanda. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Let me grab some brown paint once and see if that will work. Um, it looks like some dirt or something down there, like the ground. I'm not sure. Once I do it, though, I can't go back. So. Can't go back. Whoa, that is dark. Let me see here. Get a scrap piece of paper. Maybe my brushes. Make my way around the craft room here. Maybe in a couple weeks. I've got a bunch of stuff to put away. Maybe in a couple weeks I'll just do a tour of my craft room. Needs to be shaken for sure. It's got uh, all the medium that makes it paint. It's at the top floating. But one of these days I have to go through all my paints because I have, well, I don't know, a closet full of paints. And i got to check to see which ones are still good. And That might work. Let me see. That might work. All right. Try to stir a little bit. Still just shaking. It didn't get that mixed very good. So we'll give it a stir. This is kind of just like what happens when I'm crafting. It's like, oh, I find products that have gone bad. And it's kind of frustrating because... Um, you spend all that money and then it's dried up or Bella get out go on you're not welcome in here go on you know better go on I don't trust you you cannot be trusted I get busy and then I can't see what she's doing and then that's when she gets herself into trouble so and I'm just testing this here now if you guys would like to see more cards or something um i can do more cards i have a few that i like to do but i told you last week i wasn't going to do another card so i won't all right so i'm going to just kind of try to get some paint in here and make it look like a little bit of dirt. And I could have done this before, of course, but, you know, sometimes you don't think of things before. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, if there's certain things you want to maybe do, just let me know. I'm open. I'm open. This um, kind of gives it a different uh, feel, too, because it's not just paper. You know, it's um, it's a different medium, so it gives you a different perspective. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're new, you can go back through some of my other tutorials and stuff. I got quite a few, so um, go ahead and take a peek through some of them. Okay, let's get some down in there. Try to smudge it here and there. Then I can come back through and maybe do some other lines. Get a little darker. That way it doesn't all look like the same color. All right, I think that's good enough. Don't want it too wet. We don't want the paper going crazy. I did have these from Dollar Tree from last year. Wicked, Happy Halloween, and Spooky, but I didn't know if I could... What I might do is just put it on the outside of the shadow box. I'm not sure. Well, still, they're so big that they would probably cover my picture. So, I think I've got about a I don't know if you guys go to Hobby Lobby much, but when I was there last week, I found a bunch of their ribbons on clearance. Well, this one was normally three ninety nine. It was ninety nine cents. This is kind of cool stuff. Yeah, when Brooklyn and I went last week, I had to get some ribbon for my gingerbread. Here's another one. Christmas, ninety nine cents. This pretty color, peach, like a Chanel rope almost. And that's more fall. This one was forty nine cents. And kind of a white off white. Some pumpkins, 40 or 99 cents. Some of the gold. I thought all these colors that I picked out of that Chanel like stuff would be cute for fall carrots. 49 cents. And what's this one? Oh, <laughs> put them on the hair bow. So we got some unicorn. For 99 cents. But yeah, I thought you see that bag sitting there. So yeah, if you hit the Hobby Lobby, they probably still got some. I don't know how much they're marking down, but. All right, what else do we want to do to this? I'm not sure. I don't think it really needs much more. Let me go ahead. And I might make another Halloween one. This one was just kind of a spur of a moment thing this morning. I thought, oh, I'll do a fall because I got lots of fall stuff too. But I thought, oh, I'll do a fall shadow box. And I thought, mm, nope, don't need to do fall. You got two of those that you like. So um, maybe a Halloween. So, And I didn't think about anything yesterday or the rest of the week. I just, that just popped in my head this morning. So I thought, okay, that's what we'll do. I'm going to push that up so I can get it out. There we go. So let's give this a try and see what happens. See, it's got this second piece in here that comes out. So that keeps it away from the glass. Let me put that in and just take a look, see what we got. Real easy to get these in and out. You can see I paid $12.99 for it. And uh, so usually 50% off. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look so bad, does it? So I don't know if I can get, um, let me just open one of these. Sorry about the noise. I, I don't like that noise either. I'm so sorry. I'm going to kind of come back here away from the camera. So hopefully it will focus about. But 
yeah maybe if we maybe if I paint that and put it down there or up here yeah maybe I'll paint that maybe I'll paint it purple hat and black wicked and then I'll just use um, some removable type tape and do that okay so we'll do that real quick so I'll set that there I'll go ahead and get my paper when I get packages um, and they put paper inside of them I keep that and then I use that makes really nice paper I mean you're gonna throw it away anyway so why not why not utilize that Keep that. Oh, I didn't come up with a tip today. Uh, I need actually green. I need purple and black up here. Black, black, black. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even think about it about a tip today. Let's see. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. See if I can come up with something before before we're done today. If not, I'll make sure I have two next week. All right. I've been so busy trying to get ready to leave and stuff. So, all right. I got my black paint, and this is just a neat as acrylic. Uh, black 1130201 and this one is Decal Art Dioxazine. Yep, Dioxazine Purple. DA101. Alright. So let's go ahead and try that and see what we get. Alright. And I usually keep a cup of water in my craft room for my paint brushes because I never know when I'm going to be painting. So I usually keep a cup of water. That way I can just quick put my brushes in it and as soon as I'm done then I can take care of them. And And I don't mind that I get a little bit on there because it's going to be covered with black. So I'm starting with my lighter color. Okay. Then we can dry it if we need to. And if it's still wet, then I will definitely dry it because I don't want the paint on my shadow box. So, and I'm not going to paint the back. Because it sits up against the wall, kind of. It's on one of my tables. And, uh, so, no one's going to see the back. Yeah, I don't know what... Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for my um, channel to... Okay. Yeah, the phone rang, so with my sister-in-law. That is the nice thing about, I guess, recording this is that if I have to, I can can pause it. And it's like hard to switch gears back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> it's like... Mm. And you know you hate to hate to cut them off, so I just let her say her piece. And <laughs> but well, Miss Lottie just came in. I don't know if you heard the thud or not, but she's way too big to pick up now. Right. 
Yeah. No, I've just been tired lately. I think I just do need the break, I think. It's like I'm wearing down. <laughs> just, just need a, a mind vacation, I think. You know, sometimes you just need that, that break to allow you to breathe a little bit and So, I think we all need that every once in a while. No, I was just thinking I haven't been really on a vacation vacation. And, well, I think it was two years in June. And we went to Florida, actually. Loie was with us when we went there, so. And she was been down to, she's been on vacation a few times since then, but. All right, there. Let's see what we got there. We'll be almost done, I think. Let's set this down here. I don't want to get paint on my thing here. Let me pull out my tapes here. There we go. And these here should be removable. See if this will hold it. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure where I need to put them. Let's see here. I think we're going to go in this corner here, like so. Hmm. So, I don't think it's going to take a lot. I don't think it will take a lot of them. So, maybe one here that and we'll peel that backing off in a second i think she's snoring <laughs> i don't know if you can hear but she's snoring and then we'll put one here as you can see they're white i'll press it okay and then one right i think here okay like so, there, there, and there. Yeah, and I think that'll hold it until the season's over a little bit. And there we go. Just like that, maybe. There. Yeah. I think that looks all right. Perfect. All right, everybody. I hope you will keep me posted on what you're creating. And uh, there is an email address in there that you can send um, pictures to or whatever you want, where you can just email me. Uh, if you have questions about anything, go ahead and feel free to put those in the comments below, or you can email me also with those. And I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday and a great week until I'm with you next weekend. And as always, I wish you and your family the bountiful blessings. And I love you all. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.